Earth, the only life-sustaining planet in our solar system. Yet throughout its history, our world has been a planetary punching bag. Anything that crosses the orbit of Earth could one day slam into the Earth. At this very moment, violent celestial heavyweights roam the universe and threaten to deal the Earth a knockout blow. The power would be like setting off the whole world's armament at one time. It would be like standing next to Hiroshima all over the world. Everything in us would get ripped apart and your body would fly off to infinity. But some scientists and former astronauts are not willing to go down without a fight. They're racing to track down these cosmic killers before they trigger Armageddon. like a sapphire jewel in our solar system. We go about our days unaware that in the far reaches of space, trouble could be headed our way. The solar system is a lot like an amusement park. Earth and most of the other objects carve predictable paths around the sun. Normally, everything is calm and smooth. But at times, things get chaotic and violent. Earth can be slammed by space rocks, zapped by deadly space weather, jolted, jostled, and threatened by the objects, energy, and forces of the cosmos. The Earth is on a cosmic thrill ride, one that often involves extreme danger. When you're moving fast and on a predetermined path, you hope nothing crosses it because there's nothing you can do. Nicaraguan border goes right down along. Former astronaut Rusty Schweigert knows firsthand how dangerous celestial objects can be. In 1969, he piloted the lunar module during the Apollo 9 mission. Now Schweigert is ready for more than a cruise through the cosmos. He's sounding alarms about the dangers of one particular asteroid named Apophis, which got too close for comfort in 2004. It immediately got everybody's attention because the probability of impact was quite high. In fact, it was higher than any impact probability that we had ever seen up until that time. And Schweigert has a terrifying real life example of just how damaging an impact from an asteroid even smaller than Apophis could be. June 30th, 1908, 7.15 a.m. object half the size of a football field plunged down from space at around 34,000 miles per hour and produced a stream of fiery gas behind it. Within minutes, the fireball entered our atmosphere and violently exploded above Siberia's Tunguska forest. It became the largest explosion on Earth in modern human history. The blast sparked heat waves, which torched 80 million trees in an area over half the size of Rhode Island. Fortunately, no one died as a direct result of the explosion because it was in a thinly populated area. If that asteroid hit just a few hours later, it would not have hit Siberia, it would have hit over Europe. And if that had exploded midair over any of the major cities of Europe, a million people would have died like that. For the last hundred years, the Tunguska explosion has been shrouded in controversy. Today, many scientists agree an asteroid caused the blast. 
Incredibly, it never even impacted the ground. Rather, it exploded five miles above Siberia's frozen ground. A small stony asteroid can't survive the plunge through Earth's atmosphere. When it smacks into the lower atmosphere, doing about 50,000 miles an hour, it's like an egg smashing onto concrete. The blast over Siberia released energy equivalent to 15 megatons of TNT, a thousand times greater than Hiroshima. If this were to happen over a large city, it would annihilate it. Scientists call these trespassers near-Earth objects, or NEOs. They're asteroids and comets, which are leftovers from the formation of the planets. Comets move in the Oort cloud and the Kuiper belt, which is beyond the planet Neptune. Asteroids travel in a band between Jupiter and Mars, but their orbital trip isn't always routine. Most of the asteroids orbit in a neat belt between Mars and Jupiter, and we don't worry much about those. But when one gets away and all that mass and energy is headed towards Earth, that's when the astronomers start to worry. Oftentimes, these cosmic remnants get bumped out of their orbit and head on a collision course with Earth. Our planet's thick atmosphere vaporizes the vast majority of them. But a larger object can knock through our atmosphere and actually impact the ground. If you want to turn to the cosmos and look at the forces that would have us dead, asteroid striking are real and they're bad. It's happened before, it will happen again. 65 million years ago, an asteroid the size of a small city plummeted down from the sky. It exploded in the Yucatan Peninsula near the present-day Mexican village of Chicxulú with the force of 100 million megatons of TNT. It hits the Earth, cast you know, billions of tons of Earth's crust into the atmosphere, cloaking Earth blocking out sunlight, knocking out the base of the food chain, and sending a wave of extinction across the tree of life. It is believed the ferocious impact contributed to the mass extinction of the dinosaur. We can think of asteroids as being bad things, but were it not for an asteroid, we wouldn't be here today. Our mammal ancestors were running underfoot, trying to avoid being hors d'oeuvres for T-Rex. T-Rex gets taken out. Well, this opened up an ecological niche that allowed our mammal ancestors to evolve to something more ambitious than a rodent. And out comes the primates, and among the primates, we have people. But ironically, the very kind of cosmic boulder that paved the way for humans to exist may one day wipe us off the planet. In 1998, Congress urged NASA to detect all the near-Earth objects over a half mile in diameter or more. And what they found was unsettling. Over 850 NEOs in our vicinity. These asteroids are our closest and most dangerous neighbors in the solar system. Donald Yeomans heads the NEO program at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He and his cosmic bounty hunters search for potential killers lurking in our solar system and put them on their most wanted list. Finding these near-Earth objects is somewhat akin to tracking hurricanes. As you track it day after day, you get a better idea of its orbit. You can predict where it's going. You have a better idea of how large it is and if it should hit the Earth, with what sort of velocity. By using telescopic technologies, NASA's Space Guard survey has detected over 90% of all NEOs deemed harmful. 
These frightening objects could strike the Earth with the energy greater than all the nuclear weapons on our planet today. Such an impact could trigger mass extinction. You wouldn't expect one to hit, but every several hundred thousand or millions of years. But if one did hit, it could wipe out a fair fraction of, of um, the population. So there are very low probability events, but high consequence events. If they hit the Earth, they would have global effects. I mean, not only would you wipe out a continent with really heavy shock waves, but the ejecta would be thrown up in the air and come down all around the planet. The atmosphere itself would get to 1,000 degrees or so, and all the vegetation all over the world where that happened would flash into flames. Cataclysms could also occur with smaller objects. So Congress now asks NASA to locate all NEOs 500 feet in diameter, as wide as the Roman Colosseum. An object that big could decimate a metropolitan area or even a small state. And what worries scientists most is not the asteroids they've discovered, but the ones they have not yet found. But at any given time, there's about two dozen objects for which we can't yet rule out an Earth impact. Former astronaut Schweikert has taken the threat of NEOs one step further. He's appeared before Congress to request a special government agency be responsible for protecting the public from space rocks. Today, we have the technology to stop near-Earth objects from impacting the Earth for the rest of history. I mean, and we can literally now begin to reshape the local solar system so that our survival is enhanced. The question is, will we, or will we go the way of the dinosaurs? But Schweikert isn't waiting for NASA or Congress to solve the problem. He has his own plans to save the planet from the next asteroid impact. It's hard to believe the Earth has survived over 4.5 billion years, because since its infancy, the planet has taken a beating. Like a boxer, our world is under constant assault from asteroids that enter our orbit each year. But in the future, Earth could be knocked out. Former Apollo 9 astronaut Rusty Schweikert refuses to be bullied by asteroids. And now he's ready to defend Earth against these harmful rocks. We've discovered that there are these near-Earth objects flying by us all the time. And we've gotten more and more capability to modify our environment to enhance our survival. Schweikert is particularly concerned about an asteroid named 2004-MN4, better known as Apophis. This pockmarked rock, approximately 750 feet in diameter, swept near Earth in 2004.